Welcome to the SIDRA Intersection 9 tutorial series. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the Movement Definitions Input Dialog to set up Vehicle Movement Classes and Origin to Destination Movements. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. If you have suggestions for content, leave us a message in the YouTube comment box. Let's begin. As an example, we'll use a project file with a signal site configured using the Intersection Input dialog. Click the Site Layout button in the ribbon to view the layout picture of the site in the display pane. In the Site Input section of the Project pane, click Movement Definitions to open the dialog. Once movements are defined in this dialog, you must allocate them to lanes using the Lane Geometry dialog. It's important to use this dialog immediately after the Intersection dialog and before the Lane Geometry dialog, as data given in this dialog determines the structure of movement data in all other dialogs. Under the Movement Classes tab, you'll see two tables with six Standard Movement Classes and six User-Defined Movement Classes. The two movement classes, Light Vehicles and Heavy Vehicles, are always included. To include others, check the box next to the Movement Class name. Let's select Buses in the Standard Movement Classes table. Check the box next to Buses. Let's add taxis in the user-defined movement classes table. Check the box next to user class 1. In the next two columns, specify the movement class name as taxis and the movement class ID as TX. Now click the Origin Destination Movements tab. Use the View Display button to open the default display. Blue text in the top left corner of the Movement IDs display indicates that direct data entry is allowed. You can click in the display and modify the Movement IDs if desired. These IDs are useful in identifying movements in reports and displays. The Approach selector in this tab displays the intersection configuration as set in the intersection dialog. All possible movements for the leg selected in the Approach selector are shown in the Origin Destination Movements table. The OD movements that exist are the ones with checked boxes. Let's select the south leg and add a U-turn movement by checking the Movement Exists box in the U-turn movement column. This new movement will be added to the Movement IDs display on the right. Modify the Movement ID for the U-turn movement in the table on the left. Options are available below the table to include a U-turn before intersection and, if selected, to exclude this movement from signal timing analysis. You can introduce turn bands by unchecking the Movement Exists boxes. Select the west leg and uncheck the box for the existing left turn movement. Click OK to accept the changes and close the dialog. The new OD movements will not be shown in the Site Layout display until they are allocated by Movement Class to individual lanes in the Lane Geometry dialog. Remember to save your projects regularly, as a project file is not saved automatically after changes are made. Finally, a helpful display of Movement IDs by Movement Class can be obtained by clicking the Movement IDs command in the Data Summary group of the ribbon.
This concludes our tutorial on the Movement Definitions Input Dialog in SIDRA Intersection 9. Thank you for watching.